Hi guys, it's Big Al and welcome to Big Al Sports with, World with non-league, the Premier League with Kirsten Ashton and it's the final game of the season and silly me forgot to hit record at the start of the match. So we are a few minutes into the game, but anyway, let's get back to it. So I believe you guys were with us for the 1-1 draw against Stockport, I believe, yeah I think so. We then beat Salford by 7 goals to nil. Please no, I do not know what is happening with this massive 7. It's been doing this since I changed game preferences. <coughs> um, I changed the game preferences to put the height in feet rather than centimetres so I can actually see the heat, height. And that was an unbelievable game, man. We absolutely run right against Salford. Then they went out and beat Chester 2-0. But then it all fell apart. We drew one each with Bradford, PA. Don't ask me how or why. They scored a 90 minute equaliser. We then drew with Soho Moors by a goal one each again. They scored late on. We then lost 2 1 to AC Telford. And as you can see, we had Adamson and Lawton sent off. But see, once those two went off, we dominated the game. AC Telford couldn't get their own half. No clue why, but they couldn't, and we absolutely battered them. But we couldn't score the second goal. We tried and tried and tried, but we couldn't do it. And then we beat Southport 1-0. They were already relegated, so that was a bonus. Today we're up against SC United, who at present are just clear of the relegation zone. As you can see, one point clear of relegation. We need a win or a draw without Stockport winning really to secure a playoff spot. Lemmedin are in the playoffs, Kidderminster, SE Telford and Bliff are in the playoffs. I think Bliff are going to basically win the league. So it's going to be Telford, Kidderminster, Lemmington and one of these is either going to be us, Spennymore, Salford, Stockport or Chester. Maybe Chester. Chester might not make it but at least up to Stockport. So anywhere between 5th and 8th can get into the playoffs for the rest of the season. So, who's the team playing against SC United, who's currently, we've actually already kicked off, but thankfully there's been no highlights yet. Uh, Gokic's in goal with Booker, Downey, Donnellan, and a duo across the back. Almeida, Adamson, Gleason, Baxter, Palmer is back in because Greenies is playing awful. And David off up front, who's our top goal scorer with 16 goals this season. On the bench, we've got Greenies. Her Harbert is our 16-year-old centre back from the Youth Academy. Kenny, Williams and Grant. Williams is also a 16 year old from the Youth Academy. Yes, I have brought through the Youth Academy. I have decided to stop it. Harper does already score two goals. Uh, he played in a couple of games prior and his ratings have been like 7.2s plus. So he's already come in and scored a couple of goals. He scored two past Salford but his last two games weren't so great and he looked stressed and that so we didn't take him out. So anyway, the game has already kicked off because I forgot to hit uh, record. So last game of the season, Al forgets to hit record. We're only eight, eight minutes in. There's been no highlights for us. Um, as you can see, people are looking unsure and looking complacent on our end. They're all composed. So let's get back into it and uh, see what if we can get three points. <coughs> corner to us. Baxter whips it in. Can we win the corner? George Gleason. Oh, and they cleared it. David off. Can he get on the end of it? Yes, he can. He finds Adamson, who's another one of our youngsters. Gleason. Back to Donnellan. Delmeida. Gleason. Baxter. Oh, David off. You can't shoot from there and hit the quarter flag, man. That's embarrassing. We need to win this. Gokic with a free kick. Pumps it forward. Gleason's there. Gleason beats his man. He beats the second man. Will he cross it? Gleason. Palmer! Off the bar. Oh, how'd you miss from two yards? And here comes the counter attack by SC. United. With Yossin. He plays it back to Hughes. In the bows. Yossin. Oh, Gleason's there. Donovan clears up. And Palmer nods it back to Baxter. Oh, I do. Gleason. David off. Oh, he plays it back to Adamson. All the way back to Booker. Booker down the line. Adamson's there. Adamson picks it up. Oh, he's giving it away though. But Booker picks it back up. Booker cuts inside of the Almeida. Almeida the Baxter. 
back to the pile mark. Gleason! Oh, great save by Allison and the FC United girls. Gleason needs to prove he can play at this club. He's been running. Baxter whips it in. Oh, Downing can get there. And then Kay wins the ball. And here comes a counter attack again by FC. Kay sprinting down the wing. He's sprinting down that wing. No one's going near him. Anyone want to challenge? Got it with a catch, though. Oh, my word. End the end stuff here. Everything to play for about it for these two teams. Promotion and relegation battle live. Booker down the line to Adamson. Adamson. Well, he's whipping in. David. Oh, David Off King on the end of it. But David Off's now picked it up. Oh, what a challenge. Kay has been a rock in the back for SC today. And he pumps it forward. Donnellan's there. They'll pump it straight back in. David Off. Yes, it's 1 0 in Ash. David Off 17 for the season. And that could put the Nash guaranteed playoff. And it can also possibly relegate SC United of Manchester from their farm around the National League North. What a goal. I have no clue what that does to the table for SC. But Derry Dorff has given us the lead. Woo! Yeah. And it's Kettering or below the bad point. Unless Kettering win. SC United could get relegated. Kettering has a better goal difference too. Gleason, Almeida, back to Gleason. David off the goal scorer. Plays it in the Baxter. Pelote left. Pelote. Oh, you gotta set him off. You gotta set him off. Oh no! But David off will step up. Will he get his 18th goal this season? Dennis David off. Will he get his 18th goal from the spot? David off. Yes! It's 2 0 the Nash! And Dennis Davidoff has got a second goal and his 50th career goal. What a time to score it! 18th of the season. Barry is looking hard into the bottom corner, and that's what we like to see. So, with Kettering losing 1 0, SE United of Manchester sur will survive with how things are currently standing. Unless Kettering can equalise, SE United will stay in the Nevada Ram and League North next season. Kick. Oh, Kay heads it out again. He has been their main man at the back for them in this game. And here comes Fearson. Oh, what a challenge by Young Adu. The Baxter. Back to Adu. Plays it in the Almeida. Back to Baxter. Pumps a beautiful ball forward. David will square it. He does Palmer. Oh, great save by the keeper and cleared out for a corner by Clark. Holy Palmer should have scored. And this is the problem we have up front. We don't have a second striker who can score goals. Baxter whips it in. Couldn't get the down in. Comes back to Baxter though. If he looks inside, he's behind Addison. Addison can hit them as well. So can D. Almeida. Almeida! Oh, great save again by the keeper. I think it was going wide though, but the keeper made the save. Another corner. This time, decent cross, please, Baxter. And again, it doesn't beat the first man. It's very disappointing corners from Baxter. He's getting embarrassing. Free kick to Baxter. Baxter hits it off the wall. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, I've got to look at and see who can hit free kicks for us. Because that's just diabolical. Okay, with a throw in. Gilchrist, who's the man we want to sign in. Yossin, his contract's up at the end of the season. He wants to move to a bigger club. If we can get promoted, we could be that bigger club. And Fearson puts up man over. K looks pretty good at the back as well. Whips it in. Burker with a header out. Burrows. Plays it in. I do with the header out, but it only goes as far as Yossin. Who plays in to Gilchrist. And a great challenge by Donnellan at the last minute. And SC are coming back into this game. Hughes with the cross. Gilchrist won it but put it mile over the bar. I think they've moved him up front now. Made a Gleason. Passes the guys why don't play you Gleason. And here comes Gilchrist who so they've moved up front. Oh he spits his two man. Beautiful ball and Booker's there though. Yossin, who was up front, plays in a dangerous ball. Fierce has pulled one back. And the shock in defending by, our, by us is unbelievable. 
don't even want to see it again. That is just embarrassing. And another effort for the FC. If they equalise, I'm going to be highly disappointed. Clear ends by Harbert, who's only on the pitch. We made a double change. K whips it in. Booker with a header out. But we're just not playing very well. Donnellan clears up. Adamson picks up the loose ball. Beautiful ball through the gap to Davidoff. Who pumps it forward. Palmer's in. Can Oli Palmer finish it? Yes, he can. It's 3-1 in the hash. Oli Palmer, who's not getting a contract, gets his 10th goal of the season. He won't have a contract next season. But Oli Palmer ends his career by the looks of it with Nadash with a goal. Booker for the throw in. He finds Adamson. Back to Booker. Booker whips it in. Adamson knocks it on to Palmer. Gleason. Oh. And out comes SC United for the counter attack. Booker again with another throw in here. Booker finds Kenny. He'll play it inside to Gleason. Gleason. The Adamson. Who has a pop puts it miles wide and high. Shocking. You also with a free kick. Gilchrist. Oh my good fucking god, man. Defense is shit. That is shocking again. I do. Almeida. Can't believe we're only winning this 3 2. Kenny. Peladay. Yes, it is. It is a Peladay. And will David R. step up to get, his to get this penalty in the back of the head? Is that a red? Because that's a cool scoring opportunity. Is he going to send him off? He didn't even... He hasn't booked hardly any of their players this whole game. Can David off end the game on FC? David off with the power day. Yes, he can. It's 4-1. 4 to the Nash. And Dennis David off has ended FC United today. His hat trick is complete. And David off with the penalty. Low and hard into the bottom corner. Keeper, no chance. And boom, boom, boom. The Nash win 4-2. Gokic with the goal kick, free kick. Gokic pumps it forward. No one going to get there though. Kenny picks it up. Adamson. The young 16 year old. Adamson the deal on me. Into Gleason. David off. Back to Gleason. Palmer can't get there. Adamson does. But all oh, cleared by Shea. And can Kenny get the loose ball? Yes he can. Kenny looks inside of the Almeida. Back into Adamson. And it's a beautiful ball in for David Off. Can he score again? Oh, he's blasted it wide. Oh. Yossum with a corner. Whips it in. What? Free kick to us. That's all right. I thought it was going to be a penalty to them in the 94th minute. And there it is. The final whistle. Goals. And Kirsten Ashton have gained playoff on the season finale. We needed a win to secure it. We got our win. <coughs> Playoffs is next for you guys. They finished seven. Oh, did they finish 17th though? Yeah, I don't like the way he's done this. <laughs> don't ask me why. Uh, SC United survived on the last day of the season by a point. What was Kettering's score? Kettering lost 3 1 to Kidderminster. Kettering get relegated on the last day of the season by a point. They had the better goal difference over SC, but unfortunately, we did our job, but they couldn't do theirs. All they needed was a point against Kidderminster, and they would have done it. But the good news is, the Nash have made it the secure playoffs for a chance to get promoted. Bliff win the league by a point. Followed by AFC Telford in playoffs with Kidderminster, Kirsten Ashton, Salford, Leamington and Stockport. Only the only two teams I really fear or sorry, three teams I fear that we struggle that we ha this is we beat Stockport and they beat us. We've beat Leamington, we've beat Salford every time. Kidderminster we've beat and they beat us, but AFC Telford have beat us home and away. So that's the hardest game and hopefully we don't get drawn them in the fixed round. So guys, thank you very much for coming and watching the season finale. Next videos for this will be probably next week. And it will be playoffs to see if we make it the, get promoted. If we don't get promoted, then it will be a new season straight away. 
So guys, thank you very much. Have a good one. All the best. Bye.